You have a question? You have a question? You got a question on the universe? Definitely. Oh. How are you, sir? And you are? And my name is Sonny. Sonny, pleasure. Yes. You have a question on the universe? Yes, I got a question for you. I uh -huh. want to know how you get started, what started your interest as a kid. When I was a kid, I was nine years old. It was my first visit to the local planetarium. And I grew up in New York City, so the local planetarium is the Hayden Planetarium. And I looked up at the night sky, and the, the lights dimmed, and the stars came out. I thought it was a hoax, because there were so many stars. and. I had seen the night sky from the Bronx. Okay. It only had like a dozen stars in it, so I thought it was a hoax. I said, this is an entertaining hoax, but a hoax nonetheless. And I would only later learn that that represented the real sky. But I was hooked ever since, ever since I was nine, nine years old. Yeah, that's good to know. Um, they, they're contemplating uh, going and, uh, and doing some maintenance on the Hubble scope. Yes. My question to you is what for the Hubble you know, done in, in terms of confirming what you've known or clarify what you've known of the heavens. What the, one of the great discoveries of the Hubble telescope, but well, there's a whole list of discoveries, the Hubble telescope, part of what made it so fertile as a scientific instrument is that we were able to go back to it and service it to replace the bad parts, to upgrade ones where we've got better technology, better detectors, and so the, the telescope just kept getting better and better and better. So, so one of the things it confirmed was that there are black holes lurking in the centers of all galaxies. Every galaxy where we have good enough data to know one way or another, there's a black hole sitting in the center of that galaxy, ours included. Not only that, we confirmed what the expansion rate of the universe is. So we know how big the, how big the universe is, and how fast it's moving and how old it is. It's, it'd be like growing up in life and not knowing when you were born. That's, that'd be tragic if you didn't know that. So it's answering fundamental questions we've had, not only about cosmology, but also it's, it's enabled us to probe regions of the galaxy where stars are being born. And so not only the birth, lives, and deaths of stars, but the birth of the universe itself. It's no, and I'm, 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 you know, I want to thank you very much for, you know, providing this is venue for young kids with, you know, wandering and, and curious minds uh, that open, you know, new doors to them. Kids are born with curious minds? It's the adults I'm trying to get back into their <laughs> sleep <laughs> as well. well <laughs> too, too many adults not dreaming about the universe <laughs> the way all the kids are. We got the kids. I'm worried okay. about the adults. All right. All right great. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right.